Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey and I want to talk about the Children of the Atom. And the reason why I want to talk about the Children of the Atom is because this just proves everything about the whole diversity and um what the whole diversity and inclusivity push that Marvel, the media, and everything be doing. Like if you look at the Children of the Atom, right? They literally talking about how Vita wrote these particular backstories for the characters, but yet when she was put on spot, she was like, "One is um, one is a Reddit for the mutant, the mutant people make mutant music, has a TikTok and a um fitness Insta like that's it, <laughs> that's it." But you couldn't give us a name. You couldn't give us nothing. You didn't describe anything about them. And even reading the book, it was basically boring, to be honest. Because it's just it's kind of obvious what the story is. You got these group of kids who built tech that gives them powers like mutants because they want to be mutants so bad, even though they're not mutants. And that's it. That's literally it. What is so interesting about that? Like what what was so interesting and if you watch that children of the atom video which i know um plenty of people have it's trash Let, let's just call a thing a thing it trash is trash no matter how much you want to look at it you know but this proves the same thing with hollywood is they'll take established characters and they'll gender swap and race swap and sexuality swap them and be like oh they're the same character or they're brand new characters they're not brand new characters. Nothing's brand new about Cyclop last, um, what, gimmick, Marvel guy, Daycrawler, and Churbin. What's what? Black Archangel, Fat Jean Grey, um, Mechanical Day, um, Nightcrawler, Female Cyclops, Female Gambit. I mean, Female Black Gambit. Like, Tell me what's new about those characters. There's nothing new about those characters. And they keep doing it. They keep coming in and doing that all the time. And it's so annoying. You, If you wanted to focus on a story of mutants that are teens, you have so many X-Men. Avengers vs. X-Men brought back m most of the mutants after, you know, Scarlet Witch destroyed the mutants from, you know, No More Mutants. Her and Hope Summers did the No More Phoenix thing scatter that crap out and reignited the mutants so you have all of these mute these teen mutants that you know that are there don't sit up here and pretend like there's not any teen mutants or people who don't support or whatever and stuff like that like if you're going to do something like that you introduce them as just supporting characters in the x-men book if you really want to have human characters that have the support but to have human characters that tries to interact with the mutants and try to pretend to be mutants that's not a good look that's not a good look to be honest because right now really that's really what they are cosplayers cosplayers that apparently have the ability to use powers that makes absolutely no sense and you can tell that's what she was just looking at is cosplayers and i love my cosplayers but that's just because people dress up as these characters don't mean that they're they're also supporting this stuff i keep trying to tell people this all the time because people be like oh well you know because you see people you see these people buy like the funko pops and they'll dress up okay but they don't go and buy the books though you know what I'm saying? When push comes shove, when it's time to put your money where your mouth is with, with these new with this new stuff, a lot of them just go and just um, make sure they look at some pictures, dress up as a character, buy a little Funko Pop or some posters, and that's it. You don't really hear nothing else. But then you want to try to cater to that kind of stuff. You know, when true fans are saying, hey, this ain't working. What do you know? You're just a hater. What do I know? I've been reading the damn books since I was little. Like, most of my life, comic books. So, like, comic books and manga and anime and DC and Marvel. Like, that's been my life for forever, you know? So, I'm reading. I'm keeping up with a lot of stuff. Yes, there's there's a few things I don't know about 
in comic books and there's a lot of stuff I don't know about in anime and manga or whatever. But I do know what used to work and what does work. The stuff that you guys are making right now doesn't work. It's lazy as hell. I mean, you literally set up there. You literally have the assistant editor, Christopher, sitting up here talking about, oh, yeah, V.I.L., you know, she wrote these descriptive stories. She gave them parents and stuff like that. She He said stuff like, as if when you don't make characters, you don't think about that kind of stuff, especially when you're doing a teen book about superheroes. And I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Like, that, that sounds real stupid to be like, oh, yeah, she did some descriptive stuff, but then in the video... All she described was, you know, superficial stuff. She literally described superficial stuff. Why does the X-Men need sidekicks? They don't. They don't need sidekicks. That's the answer. They don't. And it's stupid. So why make it? You know, why waste that time? Marvel, you're supposed to be the house of ideas and you're being creatively bankrupt. But that's most of comic books in general creatively bankrupt then i know the reason why um they're creatively bankrupt because you guys done got cheap you don't want to pay nobody you don't want to give people the the money and the the rights that they're owed but then you want new characters my thing is screw new characters you have a whole universe you have a whole universe of characters both dc and marvel have over 10,000 characters. Stop creating new characters. 2017 was just let's create, you know, diversity, diversity, gender swap, sexuality swap of the same classical characters. But then you leave behind all of your original classical characters that you're supposedly focusing on. That would have been a perfect time to bring those characters in the forefront instead of this nonsense that you're doing. As a matter of fact, you know you so creatively bankrupt when Japan did a manga about Deadpool and it's the highest selling Marvel thing and it's not even it's not even published through Marvel. Ain't that something? The highest grossing Marvel book is Deadpool. That's a manga about Deadpool. Why is Japan getting this and you guys aren't? Do you not understand how stupid you guys are? Why is Japan Understanding the value of character story over the house of ideas. It makes absolutely no damn sense. And then when you guys try it, you guys want to try to come in. You want to try to run things. You want to try to tell them how the, the characters are supposed to be. Or you want to try to restrict what they're doing with characters or how they're writing their stories. But guess what? What they're doing sells. What you're doing doesn't sell. It turns people off. It turns people off. No matter how much you want to look at it. It turns people off. This identity bull crap politics, this diversity push, this gender crap, this sexuality nonsense needs to go out the door. Until you can take the characters that you already have and make good stories about them, Stop making new characters. This goes for DC. This goes for Marvel. Stop making new characters. Stop making new characters. Stop trying to replace classical characters. Stop trying to race swap, gender swap, all of it. Enough. Enough is enough. Not when you have other characters that sit there. Because there's a lot of mutants. I've seen them. I, I've seen a lot of mutants. I don't remember half the names or what they can do. But when I was reading, there were so many different mutants in the population of X-Men and even DC before the New 52. There were so many characters that I'd never even heard of that was running around in DC that was showing up in so many different books. But yet you reboots or you do soft relaunches and pretend like those characters don't exist. I don't understand. This crap is stupid. You gotta stop with the nonsense. Children of Gatham should have never been made. Just like the new war, the new New Warrior should have never been made. Just like New Be a Real One shouldn't have been made. You know, at some point, you gotta draw a line with this bull crap. Give people what they want, not what you think they need, but what they want, and actually sit down and tell incredible stories because that's what you need. You need incredible stories and you need to do better with your marketing.
That's what you need. Because all of this crap that you, you're doing doesn't work. It doesn't work and it doesn't sell. And then you're trying to increase the price to artificially get money from the loss of fans that you already did. You're going to have to turn this stuff around and you're going to have to be like, look, um, we tried it. We tried your, we tried the, these new ways. It's not working. It's not selling. What used to sell? You need to go back from in the past, learn from the past, and you need to do better with your artists and your writers. You have to find a balance. You have to look at, like, matter of fact, look at how Japan handles their artists and their um their writers for the thing. These, even though most of the artists are the writers for the book, but they the, the the creators of these mangas make a lot of money. They make a lot of money. These guys are sitting here in the in millions while your artists and your writers from Marvel and DC barely barely get 10,000 you know that don't make no sense if especially as the artist the artist should definitely be getting something but matter of fact you might need to find you might need to figure find the um find this whole artist and a writer thing going on that's probably what you need to do. You need to make sure you find somebody that can draw and can write. And maybe you need to start some mentorships or something like that. You need to figure out something that can make the artist, the writer, and your you successful. But you got to come up with something. This, this nonsense that you guys are trying to push for people isn't working. You're going to have to probably go back to the old ways of doing comic books. The ways that you, you know say it was problematic because I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you because this this is garbage. Garbage on garbage. But yeah, those are my thoughts. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.